So let's get started and let's um, go through what kind of things you can do. So the first one and the very strongest movement I ever learned to do and was a life changer was toe taps. Now I'm not going to take toe taps into something gnarly. I'm just going to take it in through drills. I'm not going to do it too long because I don't have, um, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, it's hard to do a lot of, in one tutorial. So lifting up, sucking up, there's your hip flexor. Stepping forward and here is your toe tap. You can be on the back of your tiptoe or you can flatten it as you get stronger. From here, you can increase it if you need to, to go into an E PK or come back and up. From here, you can do about 10 repetitions, either from tapping or going further. What this is going to do is it's going to teach you how to suck up because if you can't tap up, then you're not sucking up high enough. If you can't tap up, you're not wrapping your arms enough. If you can't tap up, you're not sucking up yourself into that high plank motion. All three of those are created to create this movement. It's called a compression and core movement altogether. Compression is when we have the ability to suck everything into the center. And even though I don't have all my connections, such as my thighs to my chest, I'm still working on my comp compression strength. So that would be the first movement. The second would be doing a following triangle lift. So you want to lift up your back leg high into the three-legged downward dog come into where your knee goes into your elbow, putting it across onto the ground. From here, instead of twisting out this way, we're gonna rotate back to horizontal. From here, we're gonna create that high plank position, that anger cat, meow, and then we're gonna do leg lifts. These leg lifts are going to strengthen up your core. Now, one of the things, that you're going to notice is that's a side body movement and a lot of hip flexors is developed best when utilizing side body so oblique movements a lot of people misunderstand that hip flexors are also created with the strength of utilizing the obliques so this is why you're going to find out that we're doing a lot of side body movement from that movement alone you're going to get everything of your whole body working in a cross section diagonal movement you're going to have to do both sides. If you want to take it to more advanced, you can lift one hand off. You can lift and do this here, or you can even bring in and out. Now that is working all of my hip flexor work and I'm feeling a very intense contraction in my core. And because I have to keep myself horizontal, it's also going to focus on keeping my body in alignment. From there, if you want to, you can then take it into a dropping down, and lifting up, a dropping down, lifting up. You can open your body up this way, making it more of a side body, or you can flatten your body out this way, making it a more contractional core compression and hip flexor work. Now, these are some of the main ones that I would utilize before going into boat pose. And then you'd start to look at things such as boat pose, movements, and straddle work. So with boat pose, I would be looking at movements where you are sitting here in your boat pose and then lengthening up, or sitting here in your boat pose and diagonally crossing down, lengthening up, and doing about 10 reps times three. Now you're going to get a burn, so you're also going to need to be able to stretch out and you don't want to do too much. You know, it would be things like your pigeon here, okay? From here though, I want you to lift up onto your back toe and lift your back leg off, straightening it up. So now we're working flexibility with lengthening, with strengthening. And from here, I want you to lean forward, come onto your fingertips, and pulse up and down. This is gonna work in opening up and also in working in strengthening at the same time, which is a fundamental. Another good alternative would be to do your crow face, face pose. You're gonna be here in your crow face, hands up in the air. You're gonna stretch forward, come up, keep your hands up, 